Hey everybody, I wanted to jump on and just share some things I've um, kind of been playing with, um, putting together just some of this and some of that, um, some dyes, uh, some happy mail dyes. I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to jump right into it. So, um, which way? Let me share these dyes. I shared the video and I think I deleted it. So, let me do this quickly. So, these are wonky, um... I know I had posted these on my uh, my Instagram. So if you're on my Instagram, you would have seen what I posted. But I bought these from um, eBay. And I thought these would be fun to play with. So I, think, I don't know. I think I paid 2 or $3 free shipping for them. I ordered this panda dye from Taylor Expressions. I think this was 20 some twenty dollars or twenty four dollars maybe twenty yeah I think twenty four um so what it is and I'll show you I had cut some out and put some together uh tonight it's just basically like a, a so it's a roly poly panda the circles don't cut uh are well it's only actually one circle and it's a three inch um die circle it's not included, so you'll need that. But you get all the other little pieces to kind of put it together. And I thought that would be fun. Um, I ordered some dies from... What? I ordered another set. Oh, my little buttons. Um, Frantic Stamper. I got this from uh, 2D Designs. And if you guys haven't checked out... Um, Tootie Designs, I'm, friend, I'm sure they have their own website. They do. Uh, their dies are pretty reasonable. And I don't have a stacked um, teacup die or cup die. And I'm a butterfly girl. You guys know I like my little teacups. And I thought this was perfect and so pretty. I actually put it together. And I don't think I brought it over this way, but I ordered that one. I ordered Snowman Faces. I know you're probably thinking, well, what the hell do you need those for? Um, these so would have came in handy, um, during my Christmas, uh, projects. I was actually, I was making some snowmen and I was pulling off little carrot noses off my stickers that I had because I can't draw. Um, and well, I tried and it came out all crazy. So, it, you know, it ended there. So I was kind of pulling them off my stickers. So when I seen this, I'm like, this is going to come in handy, um, for winter, uh, Christmas projects. So you get two little um snowman faces and then i ordered another set from this brand the stitched nesting ovals and i think these were like 11.99 you get eight stitched ovals i am a big fan of the stitched and i thought that was a decent price for these because these are like you know 25 26 i even probably 29 dollars you know on some of the bigger sites so I ordered those, and then I ordered this one. This was a second order from Taylor Expressions. This is a second to you um, bag die. Uh, there's also accessories that you can, other dies you can buy with this to kind of dress it up for different occasions. And um, so this is a bonus. You can make a little Santa sack. And this is what it looks like. So it comes with the bag, then you get the strap, and that's a little Santa's belt. This was, I want to say, ugh, 30, damn, 37, pricey, I know, it is a little pricey. First time ordering from directly uh, Taylor Expressions, and they gave me a little thank you die, which I thought was super cute. It's a mini stitched little heart tag die. I had cut some of those out, and I'll quickly share those with you. I don't know if they sell it on the site, but just a cute little die, little tag die. And then you get the little, and I like actually like the shape of this little heart too. And excuse my nails, guys. I got um, hot glue and every other damn glue on my hand right now. I was doing some crafting. But um, I thought that was a cute die for free and really nice of them to uh, include that. All right, so that, what else did I want to, okay, I shared the dies with you guys. Let me share the, the little bags quickly that I use the second die or second to you die with. Just some uh, quick villain. I well, I actually this is the first one that I made. When I get dies, I like to cut cut them out like probably that day just to get a fill for the die. 
Um, and that's what I did. Just pretty simple. And it's actually a pretty, you know, deep dye. This is a big bag of candy. So the whole bag fits in there. I just put it in there, um, you know, to give you guys, to dress it up, make it look pretty. So I just added some trim and a little um, dye to that one. And then I put this one together. I didn't uh, add any straps to this one yet. But just a little Valentine's themed. I used a little kisses and a little wooden heart. And then I added some washi and it says kisses. So I made that one. And then I did this one the other day. Just a little butterfly themed. Let me move these so I can get some room. This one I just layered some a burlap part. Uh, little doily dye, cute little butterfly, and then a felt love. And I just used the summer Valentine's Day paper. And it's so simple to put together. These do not take long at all. I kind of whip them up together. And then these ones, I wanted to play with my roly-poly dye, my little panda dye. So I made some cute little panda um, Valentine's um, bags. So I made a little boy and a little girl. So I just used the felt hearts. I cut out a little uh, black glittered heart. I added that Be Mine die cut to it. Pretty simple to put together. A little time consuming, but fun. I added that little die cut, I'm yours. Be Mine, I'm yours. So a little him and hers. This, I mean, you can do so much with this bag. These would be cute little favors for weddings, birthday parties, you know, schools, teachers, just about anything, anybody. Those would be cute for. Um, these, first time I pulled out this die, and I have not pulled this die out in like for, it's the first time I pulled it out. It's just a little pillow um, box die. I made a Valentine's Day. So, it pretty much opens like this. I'm sure you all probably already seen it. You can stick some goodies in there, just kind of fold it down. I added a little doily. And this little die be mine and some twine. And then this one, I added just a little die cut, some uh, trim at the bottom. I love these little wings. They had those at Hobby Lobby last year. I didn't see them this year. So pretty. So I just made a few pillow boxes. Because I pulled the die out for Christmas and never used it. I was like, eh, let me use it now. All right. <clears throat> these are the mason jar dies. I had already hauled them. I pulled out some dies uh, to play with. And these are from Creative My Creative Time dies, uh, Stitch Chunky Jars. Are you focusing in? You don't want to focus? There we go. So I cut some of those out, of course, Valentine's theme. So here's this one. I had a little tag, of course, some twine. A little XO, XO. A little um, heart. Conversation hearts I got from Michaels, and here's another one. I just uh, added two little heart dies to so that one, and this one, pretty simple. Aren't those cute? And of course, I love the little stitch that goes around, but again, you can do so much with those um, dies. I even made up uh, some little bags um, for my crafting. I got some little, uh, I just dressed around the little doy, um, the packaging. Uh, so this is my uh, Hello My Crafty Friend. That's a die that I bought from Scrap. What is that? Scrap. Uh, I forgot. Scrapping is Kate. Oh, I, you know what? I'm going to sound like an idiot. I forgot. What the hell is her? Anyways, that's that little die. There's that mason jar. I also uh, purchased some button um, dies from Frantic Stamper just for mason. You can use them in any uh, occasion crafts, but... I thought they'd be cute for the little mason jars that I have. And then I have a pair of scissor, uh, a pair of scissor die. I cut that out and just added some extra buttons. I also made a little bundle of twine. I wanted to stick in there, but I forgot that. Just a cute little package um, to include in some happy mail for my little crafty sisters. So, yeah. I thought that came out kind of cute. I also... Uh, stamped and cut up, stamped, colored, and I'm still practicing on my coloring, guys. Um, it's not right yet. And I try to make some little highlights 
uh, with my pen, but I, I think I made them too long. So they look a little funny, but there's my little teacup with a little bunny in it. I just added her to a little tag. I could put a little sentiment, but I actually like it as is. And then that's the one with the little bunny dipping in the tea. That stamp and dice, that is so cute. I think I ordered that from Simon Says. Um, really cute set. You guys, I just, you know I love my tea. This is another um, package I put together for um, some Happy Mail. I cut out a bunch of my little dies, added some little stickers. Just a little package I just have to cut out a little. Um, I wanted to use a doily. I seen someone use a doily um, for the packaging, and mine just didn't look right. So I'm gonna have to get back on there and see how she did it. But um, I just cut out a whole bunch of little dice for someone to enjoy in the night. Also, from time to time, if you're on my Instagram, I will cut out doubles as I'm cutting out, and I'll sell them on my Instagram. You know, for a pretty decent uh, price, and that actually sold kind of quickly. But um, I don't do it all the time. If I'm in, like, the mood, I'll cut out uh, extras just for that. You know, a lot of people don't have, you know, a die-cutting machine and dies, so I figured, you know, every once in a while I don't mind. I cut out some um, little dresses and shoes I shared on my Instagram. This is another die from my Creative Time um, website, a stitched little dress um, set. This is really cute. And it also comes with the shoe, the stitched heel. Those are going to be a lot of fun to play with. What else? All right, other little projects. Here's another little shoe die, another little mason jar I made. Um, I pulled out some um, stamps. I went through my stash to see what I had, you know, to play with for Valentine's Day, and I forgot I had this little butterfly. Um, again, and I was also trying to practice on my coloring. Um, the stitched uh, heart is from... Kate Scrappiness, and she's on Instagram, um, and I just kind of stamped in color, and I distressed them, and then this one came out, um, really cute, and then it started, the hearts from the embossing folder, um, started kind of ripping away, so as you see, it's kind of coming off, but this is a stamp set that I got from one of the magazine issues, a little panda, and it's so cute, um, I didn't finish it after I figured out it was falling apart, but, um, played with some of those. What else? There's other little things. Here's some more little bags, a little Paris themed. I found a little die that I had, or not a die, a little metal piece I bought from Joanne's, like, I don't know, maybe two years ago. Yeah, it probably won't look right on there. I don't know. Isn't that pretty, though? I don't know what to do with that. I need to find something to do with it. Um, what else did I want to share with you guys? Am I still, I'm still recording. Yay. I gotta share this with you guys. Um, one of my crafty sisters on Instagram had, we're doing a, uh, Valentine's Day swap. And she shared this picture with me and asked if I wanted to do it. And I'm like, hell yeah. I was like, yes. Um, this is not done at all. Uh, and I think these are pretty new, and I see a few ladies doing them. They're getting these clear boxes. You can get these from the Dollar Tree. Guys, I had like 10 of these, and I threw them out months ago because I had them for like two years, didn't know what the hell to do with them. And they were just, I was just moving them from place to place to place. So I tossed them out, and of course, this comes up, and I'm kicking myself in the ass. I'm like, no. But I was able to, and these aren't always easy to come across. So if I find three more of these, and it's from Jot. Um, three more today. So this is like, what do they call it? It's, uh, what you do, you fill it up with a whole bunch of goodies. You decorate it. What I did, um, I cut out some papers and put them on the bottom just to, you know, add to it, make it look pretty. And then you put a whole bunch of, you know, homemade goodies in there, die cuts, whatever you wanted to put in there. And you, um, send it in happy mail. I forgot what kind of, uh, what, what they call the box, but, um, it's a really cute idea, and they dress them up, they even, like, decorate the tops, um, they put ribbon on there, they make it look real pretty, so, uh, I kind of started on this one last night, and I just kind of threw some things in there just to show you guys, if you guys haven't seen this, 
um, and you're into crafting and you like doing happy mail, um, this would be a fun way to share your goodies. And it's always fun if you're a crafter to put things like this together. I bought these little um, beers from Joann's and it fits so perfectly in there. Isn't that, isn't that cute? So I cannot wait to fill this up and make it look pretty. So I was happy to find some more boxes. I also bought some of these petals, decorative rose petals today from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to stick some of those on the bottom, you know, just to make it look pretty. Um, what else did I want to share with you guys? There's like a ton here and I just don't, uh, let me share this. So I finally finished this up. I made this, if you watch my videos, a while back ago. And... Um, it just kind of sat in my little box. Um, it's a little country girl flip book that I made. I absolutely love this flip book. So I have, uh, a crafty friend that lives down south. She's a, she's a country girl. Um, so I'm sending this to her and I'm making, you know, some goodies to, go with it and I'm going to fill it up. This is a little envelope stitched and um, I think I got this die from Hobby Lobby a while back ago. Isn't that cute? Just a country themed. I made a little, it looked like, um, well to me it looks like a pocket and a shirt. Well that's what I try to make it look like. I put a little chair, so a little button, some tags in there. Uh, this one I didn't do too much. I don't even think I'm doing any more to it. I added some glossy accent to the sunflower. Of course, washi, and so I'm gonna make it look pretty. This one I made a little pocket. I had a doily, some trim, and then I had some um, gold studs. Of course, some more washi. I'm just gonna tuck a whole bunch of goodies in there. I actually got these little boots. Um, I bought a while back ago, little cowgirl boots. That would go so well. Um, and they're, I think they're stickers. Yeah, they are stickers. So these would go with those, wouldn't it? Perfect. So those are going to be an added goodie. Um, this is another one that I made a while back ago, but I got ink all over it. It's a coffee-themed um, flip book. This is actually a die. I made a little pocket in the front. I can add some goodies to it. Um, I don't know what I did, but I got some... I had a wooden frame here, and there's, like, ink all over it. You can still see some ink right there, so I got to... Take that off, put another one on there, some washi, a little doily, but coffee first. Of course, some coffee cups. This one's cute. Love. I put that little camera washi on there. This one, I just added some trim, some uh, little studs, a little envelope with some goodies. A little sticker. Made another little pocket with a bunch of... I've, you know what? Let me see what's in here because I have... Um, oh my goodness. I'm, these are definitely not going in here. These will, not these. I embossed that stamp. Why the hell are these in there? They don't even go together. Um, little donuts. More coffee. I just see the little washi right there is coming off. I just gotta fix it up. I made another little pocket. A little friendship. More donuts. More coffee. So I'm going to fix this up and get this sent out to a coffee lover. What I do to the back, nothing. So I'm working on that. Uh, my goal is to make some, um, I want to make some Valentine's rosettes. If this video cuts out, guys, I do apologize. Um, maybe there will be a, a number two to go with this. And you know what? If you don't, I, you, you, know, you don't necessarily have to go online and order tons of dyes, guys. I bet we have everything in our damn stash to make some cute Valentine's Day stuff without going out and spending all this darn money on, um, you know, all the shit that we don't even need. Just won't. Let me show you this, too. This I never finished. This is a Christmas tag flip I started never finished and I use my um, tags that I got from scrapbook.com and the little deer some ribbon and this one that one I did this one 
Very cute. Just a little tag, I believe. Added some um, foam tape under there. Merry Christmas. Some star uh, stickers, a little snowflake, and this um, antler die that kind of bent, and that's like annoying the shit out of me. I'm going to have to take it off and replace it, but that's that deer. Um, actually, it was an envelope that I got out of one of my plan the society planner kit so there is a, another thing that I never finished and sent out um what else at all I pulled it well when I was making my panda dies do you guys remember this this panda purse um sits in my china cabinet and uh everything is still intact guys it's like I don't even want to open up the goodies that she sent me yeah, she's, uh, I'm just like obsessed with it. So cute. Look at this. She won my, I had a challenge and I had two winners. She was my first winner. But look at this panda purse. It's like flawless. It's so pretty. I wonder if this is a purse dye that she used. I never asked her, um, but she is a panda collector. She loves pandas and she sent me all this goodness. She even made Gigi a little die. So I'm thinking she might have, I don't know if it's a, a little purse die, but she made Gigi one that looks just like this, a mini version. But you, if you watch my videos, you would have seen it. All right, what else? Are you guys like bored? I'm just showing you guys a whole bunch of shit going any which way. These, this is another die I bought from Hobby Lobby last year, sometime never used. It's the little heart die. Um, I just use the confetti and just, these are cards. I haven't done anything to them, just took the little um, hearts on there. Never throw away the confetti because it's like two in one. You can use these. You can make shakers out of them, use them in your projects. I don't know. And then these are some tags. This is a very simple tag flip that I'm doing for somebody that has no idea that I'm doing anything for, but um, there's like nothing really too, you know, special to it. I just kind of want to make her something and kind of surprise her. So I started on a simple Valentine's and that little um, tag that goes with this. So cute. Her tags are uh, uh, Kate Scrappiness. That's what it is on Instagram. She has her tags. I ordered